Good morning. Hi, guys. He's on. Thought I'd jump on a little bit early and say good day. In another uh, minute and a half, um, we're going to get started. Who's on here? There's a few people watching. Hi, Donna. <laughs> it's really hard just looking at yourself. <laughs> Anyone else walking out today? A bit windy. All right, we're going to get started then if no one else wants to say hi. <laughs> so today uh, we're going to talk about um, total daily energy expenditure or TDEE. -E. Okay. So those that know me know I'm a very big advocate for um, embracing foundations and healthy lifestyle habits because um, that's really going to get us um, longevity, sustainability. Hi, Ian. Um, <laughs> Great hip thrusters there yesterday. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you know I'm a big advocate for healthy lifestyle habits. Okay, it builds a strong foundation. Um, it has long-lasting effects. It's sustainable. Um, and it gives us the results um, that we're generally looking for. But there's going to come a time where um, we might want to get a little bit more specific with our body fat percentage um, or an athlete might want to achieve a certain uh, goal. Um, and we need a few numbers and formulas to help us get there. Um, so the first place to start is usually uh, total daily energy expenditure, um, which simply means how much energy your body requires um, on a daily basis. And there's um, four different components um, that we calculate uh, when we're uh, putting together this formula and understanding exactly how many calories your body uh, requires um, simply just to um, live every day. And I'm going to go through each of those formulas um, and explain what each of those are. And then uh, I'm also going to, at the end of this talk, give you a link, okay, that you can click on the link and get more specific about um, the formula um, and how you can calculate your own total daily energy expenditure based on your goal. So your goal might be a weight loss goal or it might be a um, increased muscle mass goal. Okay, so first, first of all, let's understand what um, total daily energy expenditure is and the components that make up um, this formula. So as you can see over here, I've got um, TDEE. Now the first component is um, basal metabolic rate. Okay? Now this will probably make up about 60% of your total energy expended throughout the day, 60 to 70%. So your basal metabolic rate is the energy you burn by simply living, okay? Um, it doesn't include digestion or walking your dog or anything like that. What it does include is your respiratory system, so the energy required simply to breathe in and breathe out. Um, the cardiovascular system, so the energy required for your heart to 
be pumping 24 seven and um, pumping blood around the body. Um, all your organs, uh, when you sleep, like we mentioned, uh, when you're sleeping, like we mentioned last week, um, your brain is still active and it requires uh, energy throughout the night um, to remain active. So your basal metabolic rate consists of um, all the components, hi Gab, <laughs> all the components that make up um, your daily living just to stay alive. Okay. Um, then we've got what's called uh, TEF, which is um, the thermic effect of food. So what that means is when we are eating food, we are burning calories at the same time. So it's a really good idea to slow your food, um, uh, your, your chewing down, uh, and just allow that process of eating um, to last that little bit longer. Because at the same time, we are burning calories. Now your digestive system um, <clears throat> needs to absorb the food, needs to break down the carbohydrates, fats and proteins, um, and send, send uh, those components around the body, which all, uh, which all needs energy um, to do so. So the thermic effect of food is another uh, portion that makes up your TBEE. Then we've got um, TEA, which is the, uh, the thermic effect of activity, which is simply exercise. So um, how often you exercise, um, actually there's a few factors that um, are very variable when it comes to determining this figure for one person. So the length of exercise, uh, the intensity of which the person um, performs the exercise, the type of exercise, and obviously the frequency of exercise. Okay, so this is a very, very variable number um, and very individualized. And that's where this formula um, will cater specifically for yourself. Um, then the final uh, component, which makes up your total daily energy expenditure, is called NEAT, which is Non-Exercise Activity Thermogenesis, um, which simply means that incidental activity that we do throughout the day. So, for example, walking to your car, walking your dog, um, walking around the shopping centre, all those incidental movements, getting out of bed, <clears throat> that are not calculated as part of your BMR, or part of uh, your thermic effect of food, or part of your exercise routine, but the incidental movement that we do on a daily basis. Okay? So these are the four components that make up your total daily energy expenditure. Now once we work out that figure, that's how many calories your body requires to maintain and just, um, uh, just to, to live and survive, basically. As a, at a bare minimum, okay? So as I said, um, I'm gonna pop the Harris Benefit formula, and there are a few other different formulas out there, um, but the Harris Benefit formula seems to be the most popular and the most um, accurate. Again, that's subjective. Um, however, I use that, um, not the website, but I have the actual formula. Uh, I use that for my training um, as a starting point. So um, for today, I'm going to give you a breakdown of more generic numbers, which will get you pretty close to that same figure once you type in your numbers here. So to work out your BMR, we simply take your body weight and times it or multiply it by 20. So I'm going to uh, assume a 80 kilo person. Okay, so your BMR is times by 20. And we've got an 80 kilo person multiplied by 20 equals uh, 1600 calories, which will be that person's BMR. There we go, over here. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> you take your body weight and you multiply it by 20, and that gives you pretty, pretty close uh, figure to your BMR. When I say pretty close, close to this figure as well. Okay, then we've got the thermic effect of food. And we're simply going to take your BMR, so this uh, equals your BMR multiplied by 0 0.1. Okay, oh, terrible chalk writing. <laughs> okay, so in this case, we've got uh, 
1600, 1600 multiplied by 0 0.1 equals 60, 160. Maybe the cancel's the right answer. I'll give you that one to work it out. <laughs> okay, so we've got 1600 uh, as a BMR. Uh, the thermic effect of food, uh, we've got 160 calories there. Yeah. Now we need to work out our um, thermic effect of activity. activity. Now, as I mentioned, this is going to vary uh, quite significantly. Um, but the calculations um, vary between 250 to 500 calories, depending on the activity level you choose when you enter your figures here. And just so you know, when you enter your figures here, this is based on your height, your weight, your gender, and the number of, of um, exercise sessions, um, or how, yeah, the number of exercise sessions uh, you perform throughout the week based around intensity. So it varies from um, sedentary to very light exercise um, to moderate exercise to heavy exercise and then extreme exercise. Um, so it will automatically calculate based on um, which um, activity level you choose. And it will calculate this figure as well as this figure, which is, as I mentioned earlier, your NEAT, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. <coughs> so for the purpose of today, uh, I'm gonna use the same um, 250 to 500 range um, to give us this 80 kilo person's uh, total daily energy expenditure. So let's say um, this person who's 80 kilos um, has 160 calories of thermic effect of food, <coughs> is a, has a sedentary job and does not exercise. So I'm going to use the 250, okay, um, and yeah, as I said, has a sedentary job, an office job, so really just spends eight hour, hours of the day sitting in a chair, commuting um, two hours of the day. So very minimal um, non-exercise activity um, and doesn't exercise throughout the week. So to work it out, we've got 160 plus 160 plus 250 plus 250, okay, um, which will give us, Uh, which will give us 2260 calories. Okay, so what that means is this 80 kilo person's total daily energy expenditure based on their basic basal metabolic rate, okay, um, their thermic effect of food, uh, no exercise, so very minimal exercise and very minimal non-exercise activity, they require 2,260 uh, calories per day, okay? So that's how you will work out your total daily energy expenditure. Now, as I mentioned, uh, these two are the most uh, variable figures, okay? And once you punch in your specificity in this formula, you'll get a more accurate number for yourself, okay? But this will get you pretty close. So once you've got that number, that figure, um, we need to then work out, well, what's your goal? Is it to lose weight? And if that's the case, um, then what do we do? Well, we simply deduct 500 calories. So to lose weight, minus 500 calories from this figure, okay, which will give us 1760. Now that will allow you to lose um, approximately, sorry, there I am, <laughs> approximately um, half a kilo uh, a week, okay, depending on your macronutrients, um, but that will be another talk, okay. So today we're just simply working out how many calories your body requires um, based on your activity levels, based, based on your BMR, and then uh, if your goal is to lose weight, then we deduct 500 calories um, 
and the aim will be to um, have 1760 calories. I might stand on this side actually, yeah that's a bit better, okay, per day. So um, not everyone's goal is, to, is for weight loss, okay, some people um, want to grow muscle. So if we want to grow muscle, we simply again take your TDEE, -E. I'm not going to put that up here, TDEE -E people, okay, now for muscle gain, daily energy expenditure. So in this case, um, if we are gaining, uh, we want to gain weight, we are adding, let me just get that calculator again, um, 2266 plus 300 is 2560. So here, 2562 is 2. Now the reason why I put a range um, is this needs to be done carefully in order um, to ensure uh, we're not increasing body fat and we are increasing muscle mass. Okay? And this will heavily uh, be uh, determined by your macronutrient split um, and the food um, that um, you'll be eating during that time. But in order to gain weight, um, gain muscle mass, um, we need to add 300 to 500 calories to your total daily energy expenditure, which means we are consuming anywhere between 2,500, there we go, anywhere between 2,500 and 2,760 calories per day. Okay. Um, so again, this is all based on the 80 kilo person. All right. So um, obviously uh, we all weigh a different, a different weight, different size, we all have different activity levels, okay, and we, um, we all have a, a different job, okay, so our, our meat is going to vary as well. So um, once you've worked out your TDEE, then you can establish what your goal is, okay, then after that, once you've done that, you can then start to look at um, your macronutrient split. Okay, I'm not going to talk too much about that today. Um, however, um, how do you determine how much um, 2,260 calories is? Well, there's a very simple app which a lot of you have heard of, and it's called My Fitness Pal. Okay, now the app is great to use um, once you have established your own TDEE. The app is not um, accurate if you allow it to establish your TDEE. Okay? So I highly recommend that you um, click on the link, the Harris Benedict uh, formula link, punch in those numbers, it'll take about 30 seconds. You'll get your um, total daily energy expenditure. You can then establish your goal, whether it's weight loss or weight gain, okay. and then uh, download an app, which I'll add this to the comments as well, called My Fitness Pal, okay. and that will allow you to start adding all the foods that you have throughout the day, and it will calculate your calories. Okay. It will tell you how many calories um, you are consuming based on the food that you enter into the app. Further to that, it will also identify your macronutrient split. So whatever food you consume, it will identify whether it's a carbohydrate, protein, or fat, and it will uh, split it up for you. Okay, so it pretty much does the work for you. Um, once you've uh, done these two, uh, these two calculations, plus used your MyFitnessPal, you are well on the way to achieving whatever goal it is that you want to achieve. So um, that's how we calculate our total daily energy expenditure. Um, as a naturopath, and there are many other nutritionists and uh, fitness professionals that I know, we actually use um, this formula and we calculate it ourselves. Um, so um, 
total daily, uh, sorry, um, exercise activity okay, is calculated, as I mentioned earlier, based on whether you are um, you exercise um, once a week, twice a week, five times a week, uh, or very intense and extreme exercise. Now that figure can vary between 1.2 to 1.9 okay, um, as a multiplication. Okay, so whatever your BMR is, we multiply it by this range. Okay. Um, now, once you punch your numbers into the formula, it will do it for you and you don't need to um, to look at that range or to punch those numbers in. It's already done for you. Okay. Um, so, I hope you found that information useful. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, um, yeah, place them in the comments. We've got another five or so minutes, so I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, just to recap, total daily energy expenditure is the first place to start um, when you want to get really specific about your um, body composition. If you want to just live a healthy lifestyle and start to generally lose weight and sustain that weight, remember it is about healthy lifestyle habits. Okay, um, so establish your foundations. Once you've established your foundations, you can start to get really specific about your figures and your numbers, and it's not so challenging to commit to those numbers. Okay, so I hope you found this information useful. Um, great chatting to you again. Um, hope you're enjoying these Friday mornings um, live health chats um, and I'll see you next week.